Happy New Year, love things. Happy New Year. Happy 2019 in this bitch on our ass. Yes. If you are listening to the sound of my voice, that means that you made it to 2019. That means in 2018, everything that was set up to aggravate you, humiliate you, agitate you, didn't take you out. The the weapons that were formed against you did not prosper because you were not built to break. You may be cracked, but what? Not broken. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Lady Nika. Happy New Year, love things. Child, we made it. And I know y'all probably saying, well, goddamn, bitch, you got a whole lot of energy. Yeah, I figure if I started off with this energy, I'm going to try to hold on to it throughout the year. Now, y'all know I got that autoimmune shit. You know I got that autoimmune shit. So, sometimes the energy level may drop a little bit. But every day, regardless of what I'm going through, when I come on this here piece of uh, platform or I'm in pre-recorded video or going live, I'm going to be trying to give you the best of me. I'm going to try to radiate positivity in 2019 as much as I tried to do in 2018. I am so glad that we made it want together once more and again to fellowship over here on the Lady Nika channel. I just, I'm, 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 I'm tinkle pink. I'm just tinkle pink. I really am. And I'm happy to be here with you guys. I uh, apologize that our New Year's Eve live and New Year's live was canceled. You know, when one of the eggs ain't right, you got to make a mad dash on over to check on them eggs, honey. I told you, them children may become adults, but they always will remain your baby. So I had to run over there and take care of that situation. And once I got that situation together... And we, we were thankful that, you know, the situation wasn't as bad as we had uh, initially thought it was. Child, I had a moment to woo-saw as I watched the ball drop with my family over on the other side of the border. Oh, you know, I was on the other side of the state line. Texas, child, that's what I'm saying. I'm in Louisiana. When I say I'm on the other side of the state line, child, I'm talking Texas, unless I uh, specify going forward. Y'all know that. Anyway. I just, uh, child fucked up, okay? That's the reason why I could do shit. By the time I, that fear had done shook over me, I knew my, my egg was going to be all right. We ain't had no cracks in the eggs, honey. I, I, re, I will saw it, and, um, I, I, I don't mind coming on here when I got a little Mother Earth in me. You know, I do that often. And I don't mind getting on here when I got a little look up in me. But when I'm to the point out where I was New Year's, the child, hell no. Hell no. Now, that's where I was. Anyway, I don't... <laughs> I want to say this is part one and two of Jumpstart January. Because I told S. Hutchinson I was going to do it. I told her that. That's what I told her. I guess this is it. Because I did not show up on the streets yesterday. This is part one. And this is day one and day two combined together. Because I'm talking about a couple of things. So this is a combined video of Jumpstart January. Lord have mercy. Y'all know Jumpstart January means... One video every day this month. <sighs> That's my sister. I'm going to go on and do it. I'm going to try to do it. Now, y'all know I got this shit. Okay? So, on the 8th, I'm going to let you know right now. On the 8th, I might not be here, but I'll be back on the 9th, and I'll take care of the 8th and the 9th. Y'all know I have to go have my uh, monthly procedure. I got my day with being on the 8th. Okay? So, we got that together. So, with that being said, okay... Um, we're going to move on into, oh, we're going to move on to another aspect of what I need to be telling y'all about. This Friday, I will be doing Fuck Shit Friday live. Um, I think I can pretty much, I have watched from some of the bigger YouTubers how they come in and do their weekly top. Let me stop saying some YouTubers. Let me just get this girl her props because I, I fucks with her the long way. Color Me Pink, Keisha Irvin. I watch her spill the teas. See, I never wanted to go live with my fuck shit Friday because I always feel like I'm going to be watching the chat. But I think I done figured out by watching her how to get my topics out and discuss them and still interact with you all. So this coming Friday, we will be doing fuck shit Friday live. 
And we're going to have us a good goddamn time. We're going to talk shit and swallow spit in 2019, right? All right, then that's what we're going to do. Now, over on Fuck Shit Friday, I'm going to talk more in depth. But for those of you who may not have watched my um my last live, I am uh, now on Patreon. I feel like for all I try to give here, if you really fuck with me strong, then it's not a lot to ask for. Now, I'm not asking you for no whole lot, because, child, bitch, I live just like you do. You know, some of us, we live paycheck to paycheck, okay? And spell it, Christmas done passed. I know goddamn well we the struggle is real. Shit, some of y'all waiting on income tax and every damn thing. You know what I mean? So, I'm not asking for a lot for $1 a month. That's all I ask, one dollar. Now, if you choose and feel like I'm worth more than that, then feel free to do so. I would love it. But I will be letting you know, I'm going to be placing all of the story times over there. Over there, I'm going to be able to be more transparent to you guys. In the past, I have always tried to be very transparent, even in my troubled times here on the YT. I've always tried to come across, across as very transparent. It is what it is with me. What you get on cameras, what the fuck you getting with if you ever come up into my space, okay? I've had my ups and downs on YouTube. I've had them, bitch. You was there, some of you. But moving forward... After that situation that I went through, I began to I began to be closed off somewhat because some of the things that I so openly shared with you all as my love things began to be somewhat, in my opinion, used against me. So now, as time has gone, wounds have been healed. I feel right with the Lord. I feel right with my uh, former colleagues. I'm cool, okay? Moving forward, I am the Lady Nika. I'm not Lady Nika. I am the Lady Nika. That's who the hell I am. I'm not defined by any other names. May You know, they may have been given to me in an attempt to break me, embarrass me. It is what it is. We all can be called something. I choose to call you human and keep it moving. So, now that I'm in a place of total peace with my YouTube platform, I would like to get back to the core of what once made me so great, in my opinion, down here on YouTube. That was my transparency. And so, since I am going to let you all into my personal life a little bit more. And hopefully by my stories, you're able to navigate your own and know that you are not alone. I'm going to put that content over there on Patreon exclusively. I will be doing videos over there that will not be over here on YouTube. I will also probably try to have little live sessions over there. And depend on the, you know, how it goes over there, how successful it is, you and I will eventually be able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I, I got a phone, I pick it up, and I call your ass. Now, we can't run it for two, three hours, but I can give you some of my time so that you can relate to me one-on-one -on -one and see that I am who I am on that video screen but we'll talk about that a little bit more um, on Fuck Shit Friday Live this Friday. Um, I'm going to link my Patreon down in my description box. Like I said, for $1 a month, you can get access to exclusive content and one-on-one -on -one time with me. If you feel that you are a true supporter or a true love thing of mine and you would like to get to know me a little bit more, then please join my Patreon. Again, we're going to discuss that shit a little bit more as we do... Um, Fuck shit Friday live this Friday. I think I'm going to do it around 7 o'clock at Central Standard Time if I possibly can. Because I don't want to hold it long. On no Friday night, I don't want to hold you long. And um, 
yeah, we're going we gonna to talk shit and swallow spit, get some info on the Patreon and all of that. I'll have uh, Miss S underscore Hutchinson if she is available in the building to provide you guys with links to be able to join the Patreon as well. As there was going to be a giveaway over on Patreon. See, I'm about this life. I'm ready to give you the best of me here on the YT, but I'm willing. I'm I'm ready to give you even more of me over on Patreon. Also, please don't forget that I do have a second channel here on YouTube. It's called the Evolution of Nika. I will uh, link that down in the description box over there. I talk all things lupus and autoimmune. We just get deep over there. I'll be doing a live over from that channel very soon. So if you're not subscribed, go to my description box and you will be able to click the link and you can join the family over there. We get a little deep over there too, but we get deep health-wise and education-wise over there. Over here, we do reviews and sport, uh, sports entertainment. Child, we do reviews and celebrity entertainment over here. That's what we're going to do over here on this channel. This is what you guys liked about me, and this is what you will get even more in the new year. Okay? Now... Oh, child, that was 11 minutes of advertising, bitch. Come through with the advertising, Nika. Anyway, child, that ain't all I came down here to talk to y'all about. Child, is she ready or is she not ready? Honey, I was down over on Instagram. You know, Instagram is starting to be my place. You know, when I do touch the social media streets, I'm always over there tippy pausing through them Instagrams, uh, posts and whatnots. And, uh, I was over on Instagram and I was alerted to go to an article about, uh, Miss Tiffany Haddish, right? And so the article led me over to the root.com. Now I will link this article down in my, uh, pinned comments so that you guys can have a reference point, you know, so you can come and read it later and see it for yourself. But I want to read the article to you and do a little commentary on Miss Tiffany Haddish. Is she ready? Tiffany Haddish wasn't ready for her set. It didn't stop a few fans from having a good time. Performing to a packed house at the James L. Knight Center in Miami, the usually poised Haddish didn't have her best stuff as she as the new year approached. As the set progressed, Haddish forgot a few jokes, realized the jokes she remembered weren't connecting as expected. The fans headed for exit probably tipped her off. This is weird for me now. Uh, had it said to fans, lost interest and gathered uh, their things. This is going to be on TMZ or whatever. Soon the boos and the hecklers started in. Mm. While we're certain, Andrew, uh, this dude named Andrew Chestnut, I'm I'm gonna link his ass down here too, so y'all can see what he said. He did a um, he tweeted out, went to see if at Tiffany Haddish was actually funny. I ended up doing this. Conclusion. She not funny. Horrible show. In her defense, she said she was having a rough night. She didn't have to be up there. She ended up inviting me up on stage to tell jokes. Now, child, whatever. While we're certain Andrew posted, uh, Andrew thought he had a banger with this video he posted, the paltry amount of likes and retweets suggested the internet seemed to realize how corny it was for a grown man to show out at a comedy show he paid to see. Ooh, another little shy shade, though, Andrew. Mm, sometimes it's not funny when you're trying to make a person look bad, you end up coming out looking like that ass that you tried to make a huh. Mm. Setting aside Andrew's decision to show out for uh, a smattering of likes and retweet, he wasn't alone. And then they showed uh, different tweets people had did. Okay, Haddish, after reading some of her uh, set from her iPad, cut her set short to drink some Ciroc with fans who stuck around, according to TMZ. Haddish had recently been the center of a quasi beef with recently uh re Haddish had recently been the uh the center of a quasi beef with recently recently with uh stand up comic Cat William who revealed a low opinion of Haddish stand up skills. 
she's not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody, Williams said about the girl's trip star. Comics bomb constantly. I, for one, am sad to have missed out on what, on a shot at getting wrecked with Tiffany. And then they show you a whole lot of other people tweets and whatnot. Now, I'm going to link that down in my uh, pen comment so that you can go back and uh, read that for yourself at a later date and time, okay? <clears throat> my opinion is simply this. I already told y'all that I didn't have a problem with Tiffany Haddish, but I also told y'all I did not feel that she would be a good stand-up comedian. I said she cute on the Groupon, uh, Groupon commercials. She do real cute. It's funny. I listen. And she's good in comedic roles like Girl Trip and Nobody's Fool. Okay. The girl is she. She got that look that you have to have in Hollywood to if you want to be the next chosen one. She got it. But do I think that she is? She's a good stand-up comedian. Hell to the no. She she's not funny like that. She's not funny like that to me. Okay, and it's not taking anything away from her because I can't. I ain't got half the success that woman has had. Okay. I'm not talking down on her. I'm just giving an opinion as a uh, person who, you know, renders their opinion about celebrities, you know, and shit like that. That's what I do, and I get a cute coin for doing it. So that's what I'm, I'm just giving you an opinion. Nothing I'm saying is written in stone. Tiffany Haddish also may have been doing this for a while, but we ain't know who the fuck she was. So to me... She ain't put in enough work, but it doesn't matter what I say because she has been chosen by Hollywood. But if your strength do not lie in stand-up comedy, stick to the uh girl stick stick to the co uh, commercials and the movies that you used to. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the commercials and the movies that we love you in. She is not. A Cat Williams. She is not a Dave Chappelle. She is not an Adele uh, 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 Gibbons. She is not a Samoa. She is not a Monique. She not a Whoopi. She ain't, she ain't none of them women or men in comedy. Not stand-up comedy. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, she's going to have to just simply... Stick to what works for her. Now, she going to be all right anyway. Because, like I said, when Hollywood choose you, you can be the most untalented mug in the world. And they will thrust you upon us. Stick to the lane that she's supposed to be in. I tell y'all that all the time. I tell y'all to stick Stay in your lane. Know what I, we talked about this in my last live about how people have a tendency to not want to stay in their lane. Do what you do. I can't get on here and do lovely tea. I can't get on here and do toxic diamond. I can't get on here and do boss lady talk New Jersey. I can't get on here and do be soul speaks. I can't get on here and do Miss Honey. I can't do this. Get on here and do my twisted life with poetry. I can't get on here and do Mike B. I can't get on here and do Ramblin' K. I can't get on here and do none of them people. The all I, only thing I can do is get on here and give you the best of me, bitch, the best way I know how. And keep it funky. When you live in your truth and, and ride in your own lane, life is a lot smoother. Tiffany has that it factor that makes Hollywood say they want to endorse her. I'm not knocking it. But girl... When people pay good coin to come out and see you, you have to be prepared. Now, i give you this. Hold on, y'all. Mother Earth break. But anyway, uh, i give you this. I, I chuckled in Girls True. You know, I chuckle when I see her in her comedic roles. And I told you I like fucking Groupon commercials and shit. She done hooked me up with some shit. Okay? 
But I don't really, she's not that type of funny that I want to sit up and pay, you know, X amount of dollars to see for an hour and a half to two hours. She just don't have that in her, for, in my opinion. And I know that they say she was lit. She gave an apology about what it is and said she feel like that'll be the last time something like that happens. Okay. But if you find that your strength don't lie in stand-up comedy, don't give these people shit to have. Don't give me commentary. Now, if you do, I'm going I'm to talk about it. I, yes, God, I'm going to talk. If you give me content, I don't give a fuck who he is. Nobody's off limit in 2019. Ain't no personal shit. This is business. Trust. Because we're going to talk about R. Kelly this week. Yes, we is, bitch. Nobody's off limit. My personal feelings is not what I'm doing when I do this commentary. Personal feelings have to be set aside. Because if I'm going to grow this a bit more than what it is right now, if I want to be greater, I can't have my personal feelings involved in shit. I got to call it like it is. And I'll be doing that this Friday. But back to Tiffany's. This ain't a bad video. All I'm saying is stay in your lane. And if people pay good money and you're going to tell these folks you're going to make them laugh for an hour and a half, then you need to not be, to lay off the Ciroc. Get your nerves together. And, and, and handle your motherfucking business, girl. Because that's bad business what you did. That is not a good look. And like I said, all you did was give all of us YouTubers, bloggers, and everything else. You just gave everybody some damn commentary. And on behalf of the one, the non messy, you know, call it like it is type of YouTube content creators, I thank you, bitch. Thank you. Do some more shit. But do something that I don't have to be as harsh. Because this may sound harsh, but I already don't think that she's funny. She funny on commercials and movies. I ain't never sat down and just chuckle watching her do no stand-up. Cat Williams, a bitch be about to pee on herself. Moni, a bitch be laid over on the side with tears running down their eyes. Tiffany Haddish, I be like, oh, that was cute. What y'all think? Put it in the panty. Put it in the pan, and that's all I can say, girl. In closing, please remember to rate this video. Ratings get me recognized on these Y2 streets, honey. Comment down below in the panty section. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about everything I just discussed on this uh, second day of Jumpstart January for the year 2019. If you have not become a love thing for the free 99 and one dollar over on Patreon, go ahead on and do that, girl. Make your next move your best move. Uh huh. Cause I'll start loading content over there in the next week or two. But there will be a giveaway over there as well on the Patreon. Mm hmm. And I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to peep out season five of uh, Black Ink Crew Chicago. And if my spirit resonates, I'll be back tonight. If my spirit don't, I'm going to leave that shit where it is. Just like I did Love and Hip Hop. I'm going to holler at y'all. Remember, when somebody show you who the fuck they are, believe that. Okay? I'm out.